Hi, my name is Rand Holt. I'm a Henley Corp for Activation. Didn't start that way. At the age of 12, I was a vibrant, young, active kid doing all the things any other kid would do, such as baseball, football, climbing trees, riding bicycles, learning how to play the guitar. Eventually, I uh, started learning how to play the drums, and at that point in time, I was getting quite good. Actually, I was advancing more in the drums than I was the guitar, so I focused more on the drums. So, then when I, March 29th, 1980, at the age of 12, at a family ice out, I was struck by a stray bullet, hitting me on my right side, piercing my body from the right to left, severing my spine from the level of T10, leaving me a paraplegic. So, I went on to play the guitar leaving my legs useless being a paraplegic, I finally just gave up on the drums and made it my passion for the guitar. So I'll put these away for now tell you a little bit about my story. So, living as a paraplegic, I guess I adjusted well because it was at a young age. So, I just... Um, continued to live as the best I could with the support of my mom and my dad, the best support group that I could have had. And so, through my uh, guitar training and through disability, I was able to sustain my own living resources financially and just doing everything that I could possibly do, you know, to make my life better, to make people's uh, life a little better. Uh, there was nothing better uh, to light up people's faces by performing for them. And it brought me such joy to bring joy to other people. During that time, I was involved with the wheelchair Olympics. One day, Pursuing a married bond, I was in training. After training, coming home from a neighbor's house, I got hit by a car. That happened in 2008. At that point in time, there was little option for me. Actually, they didn't think that I would live through that second tragedy. So, I did a little research, my parents and myself, and we found out that they could do this procedure, that it was a last resort procedure to preserve life, to do what's called a unique door fluorectomy, and which is what you're looking at right now. Living from the age of 12, which I'm now 44, at the time of my second tragedy, if you will, uh, being hit by the car in 2008, and then finally having the surgery done over the last, I should say, four years from 2008 till February 2012. So I am now done with all of my surgeries. However, I haven't found resources of, uh, to talk about my, uh, my strife and my triumphs uh, with other individuals such as myself. Um, I've tried to do what research that I can, and not being very computer, computer literate, I should say. Um, but I've found there are very few people that have had this procedure done, and it's a very radical procedure in which it's only done in the last resort to preserve life. So that was the decision that I had to make, in which they continued to do so. That was October 25th, 2010.
in which the final surgery was over February 29th of 2012. So, my mom is right here. I don't know if you can see her picture. She was my nurse, mother, mentor, you name it. My health care provider, everything. She was, as I am a mama's boy, there's many of us out there, and I'm not ashamed at all to say it. However, my mom, mom she passed September 18, 2011. So, she has not got to see me doing as well as I am now. But I know that her spirit is with me everywhere I go. And she instilled in me that the doctors were not God. And by no means were they Jesus. She told me to hold on to my faith, and Jesus will see that I will conquer anything that comes my way. And my mother never liked me, and she never would. And she was right all along. Through Jesus, my Savior, I have prevailed. Although I am still struggling with this new me, I have to learn to do things in a way that I have had before. There's still a last process that I need to go through, which is rehabilitation. I'm reaching out to those resources as we speak. There's a prosthetic procedure, it's called a bucket, in which it is a prosthetic that will cover the bottom of my torso surface-to-surface surface abrasions from happening, pressure stores, and protect my skin and things like that. During the procedure, as you know, genitalia was removed, rectum was removed, and rerouted. So I have a urostomy, which is made from a stomach, pieces of my, uh, my colon. And on this side, I also have a stomach made for my colon for my hoop, to put it mildly, for the lack of a better word. So, I am making this video. I am reaching out to whoever may see this to help me, help me. Right now, my father is 71 years old. He is in bad health. He is going for a knee, re or pardon me, a hip replacement on the 27th of July. We're deeply concerned how that's going to affect our income. As it is, we're living on his social security along with my disability. Having not paid into SS or to into the into the general workplace. Um, I never paid taxes. I lived off a of disability and music all my life. So it sustained me financially. So I didn't feel the need to get an education. I was living quite comfortably. However, I'm working on my DED right now as we speak so I can further my academic uh, knowledge so that in hopes I can have a self a life staining career in which I would like to be involved in music in one way or another. That's my passion, that's my love. It was it, it was just instilled in me from the very first thing that I can remember. It's always been music for me. Right now to look into hemicordprovectomy.ted.com 
those are the most innovative minds and they cover the whole spectrum and the whole realm in humanity as a whole whether it be medical whether it be financial governments whether it be global warming whether it be uh, nat natural disasters they as a whole have the greatest and innovative people uh, linked so I'm challenging the people out there that might see me to help me reach out to resources like those people in TED.com to help me be able to overcome this latest tragedy in my life so that I may get the right rehabilitation that I so deservingly need and the right prosthetics that I need. And also I have in mind to incorporate this bucket prosthesis that will close the bottom of my torso to integrate it with what they're calling an exoskeleton which is allowing paraplegics to walk on their own for the first time in many years. From what I'm hearing, this exoskeleton, you can go to it, it's exoskeleton at ted.com and you can see this. It's truly amazing. What I'm hoping is to integrate this bucket with that exoskeleton so that maybe I will one day be able to walk again. I truly believe that if they can overcome some of the greatest challenges that we have faced as a race, I know in my heart of hearts that this challenge can be met as well. So once again, I'm challenging you to help me and to help guide me to the right sources that I need to get closure so that I could be self-sufficient and live a normal, happy life just like we would want for every American and every soul on this earth. Unfortunately, I know that isn't possible for everybody. But I, knew, I know that challenges can be met. So I'm challenging you help me help me once again my name is Rand Hull if you would like to blog you can reach me at Rand Hull 1967 at yahoo.com I'll be more than happy to speak with you if you have any information pertaining to this injury if you are any court correct me patient yourself I would love to speak with you as well or have not met anybody with this procedure done. I haven't been able to, to link to anybody. So I'm kind of struggling because I don't know how they're doing. I do know that they're out there, which are very few. However, I would like to know how they're living life to help me associate myself and to integrate myself back into a normal lifestyle, a normal as you can get in my condition. So once again, I will close and I just challenge you guys. Just reach out. Rand Hull, 1967 at yahoo.com Send me anything that you can think of. I'll be more than willing and excited to hear from anybody in my condition or anybody that has any knowledge to further my life as it is.